Hey guys, today we're going to look at a couple of new tablets from Laser. Okay, so we've got a 10 inch and a 7 inch. And um, we've got product codes on the back here, as usual MID 1090 IPS and MID 790 IPS. Okay, specs on both of these are the same, um, barring a couple of small differences. And obviously, that's the screen size and the um, camera. Okay, so your basic specs here is Android 8, uh, quad core, 16 gig of RAM, or oh, storage, sorry, uh, micro SD card slot, an IPS screen. Uh, this one's got dual cameras, front and back, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and um, Google certified. Okay, so uh, IPS, uh, IPS screen, what that means is internal plane switching. So basically, what that means is. Um, if you look at the screen from any angle, um, you know the colors and the clarity should remain um, pretty good. Uh, so back in the when LCDs first came out, if you looked at the screen from the side um, or from the top or the bottom, um, you know the screen would start to get a bit washed out or faded, and you'd lose color. Um, so internal plane switching sort of does away with that. So it's nice, nice new tech. Okay, so we just uh, have a look at some of the um, hardware on here, volume up and down, power, um, this little port, uh, flap on the back comes off, so you've got your rear camera and your front camera or your selfie camera. Okay, so now you want to just get your fingernail in this little notch here, you can take this panel off. Okay, so here we've got your micro SD card slot and um, yeah, that's pretty much that's it. That's the only slot on the back. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. Just hold the power button down for a couple of seconds. Okay, while well that's powering up. So you just needed a couple of hands to get that flat back on. Okay, same deal with the um, 70. Uh, product code on the back here, as usual as well. Power button, volume up, down. Uh, this one's only got a selfie camera or front-facing camera. Now again, with this one, you want to put uh, your fingernail in the corner here. Take that flap out. There's your micro SD card slot. So uh, no rear camera on this one, guys. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, okay, so I'll just turn this one on as well. Okay, so we'll do a first time setup here and I'll show you guys some tricks and tips. Okay, so start. Mm, okay, so a lot of these options you'll get at this first time setup, I recommend you do them now because if you want to do them later, you'll probably have to go digging around in the settings menu and they can be quite hard to find sometimes. So I'll just select my uh, Wi-Fi and type in the password. Okay, so um, look, these tablets and smartphones nowadays uh, you pretty much need an internet connection connected to them somehow because a lot of your um, well basically to to browse apps on the Play Store or browse the internet you're going to need internet uh, an internet connection so um, because this one these tablets don't have a SIM card you can't use like a mobile data so you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi router okay so I'm just going to set up as a new here Okay, so along with an internet connection, you also want to have a Google account because the Google account is what gives you access to apps on the Google Play Store. Um, you know, so if you're playing any games or if you watch something like Netflix, you're really going to have to download the app and install that before you can start using it. Okay, so this is where you type in your Google account, which I'm just going to do. So if you use Android devices a fair bit, or you're going to be using this tablet a fair bit, 
and you don't have a Google account, so it'd be recommend recommended to create one. Alrighty, I think a couple more steps. It just the uh, most important thing is to read, read, read. So if you know if something's coming up on the screen, it's not just going to throw you in there blindly. Read exactly what it's saying and and try and understand what it's telling you or what it's asking of you. You know, a lot of people look at a at a message and and just sort of skim over the details of it. No, you really need to read what it's saying and, and sort of understand what it's asking you. You know, uh, so now we've got our pattern pin or password. I don't like putting one on, but if you do put one on and you forget it. You'll need to do a factory reset, which I'll show you later, so I'm not going to put one on. Mm, you really only need to put one on if you, um, you know, protecting it from other people in the house, or you, you, know, you take the device public a lot. If you're the only one at home using it all the time, it's, it's just a, um, a nuisance to put it on there, you know. You, you don't want to be putting a, a password every time you want to pick it up, so... I personally don't lock any of my devices, so... Um, the only time you want to do that is on like a smartphone or something, you know, because you get you take that around a lot, and if you lose it in public, then someone can just open the phone up. So it's good to have a password on something like that. Okay, so here we are, the main screen. So first things first, go into settings, and just show you a couple of things. So you know, normally you'd go in here to connect to your internet. So we've already done that, and now so with the the advertised 16 gig storage. Okay, so this is a big one. We go in there and we see that we've only got um, less than 16 gig there. You know, about uh, 12 gig, 12 gig or so we can use. And that's because the Android operating system that's on this device is actually using up that 3.27 gig. Okay, so that's actually um, it's important. You know, you need the operating system to use the device. So a little bit of your storage is already used up out of the box. Okay, but um, I recommend to keep this storage, the 16 gig or the remaining 12 gig free. You know, get a micro SD card, put it in the back slot here as I showed you earlier, and copy any uh, photos, music, um, videos onto your micro SD card. Okay, you don't want to be filling up this system memory because when it comes time to downloading apps or updates for the Android system, it's going to be using onboard storage. So you want to really leave this free for any. Um, any stuff the system really needs to do because it needs memory and if you bog it down too much with stuff it'll start to slow down okay you've got all your other options here display so I'll let you go in there and customize that to your heart's content but the next thing I want to show you is the Play Store we should be able to load straight in there because I set my account up earlier okay so this is where you go to get your um, oops get your um, apps like Netflix and um, Amazon or any games that you want to play you know? um, and also here is where you can uh, have a look at your account settings and we've got the uh, Play Store version here latest version installed that means you've got access to all the apps that is compatible with this Android version and this tablet okay so just a quick demonstration uh, just search for Netflix so there we are so Netflix doesn't come pre-installed on this so you will have to install that uh, when you get it okay so uh, that's pretty much it so um, just want to quickly show you guys oh yeah just the uh, IPS screen so as you can see if I sort of hold the tablet at an angle excuse the reflections guys but um, yeah you can see uh, pretty much don't lose much uh, color or clarity when you're looking at it from an angle there, which is you know, IPS technology. Um, oh yeah, so uh, finally I want to show you guys a very important house housekeeping um, trick, and that's a factory reset. So just hold this power button down, turn the device off completely. Okay, once the device has been powered off, you want to press and hold the plus button. Now, while you've got the plus button hold, held, you're going to press and hold the power button. You keep them held, and you'll see a menu pop up, and you want to let go of it straight away. Okay, so there's our menu. 
Okay, so this is uh, the first step of doing the factory reset. So there's your controls there, volume up to select, volume down is okay. So we want to go to recovery and tap volume down to select that. Okay, so now that'll boot up another menu. We will have some other options and that's where you can do the factory reset from. Exactly the same with this tablet, guys. So, like I said, these two are identical, except for the um, camera missing, the rear camera missing on this one and the screen size. Uh, but the factory reset is exactly the same. Alrighty, as you can see here. Um, now on this next menu, up and down is your selection and tapping the power button is actually the uh, OK button. So we want to go into wipe data factory reset and then just tap the power button. Well, it'll come up with a confirmation. Say yes. It'll do its thing. So what a factory reset is, is basically deleting everything on the device and rebuilding the operating system. So basically, exactly like the device was out of the box, brand new. Okay, so it'll delete any passwords or applications that you would have um, installed on here. So um, yeah, after you do that, you'll need to set up your um, internet connection again and any apps that you would have downloaded, you'll re need to re-download those. So if you had any paid content, they're, they're tied to your Google account. So don't worry about losing that. You just need to log in with that same Google account again. Okay, so now that that's done, as indicated by here, you want to just tap power button on our next option, which is reboot system now. And that'll restart. So earlier I showed you how we uh, did a um, the first time setup. Now when this tablet uh, finishes loading, you'll see that first time setup come up again because we've just done a factory reset. So uh, you should see that every time you do a factory reset indicating that it was done successfully okay and um, yeah that's it pretty much it guys check these out I reckon um, these are two of the best tablets laser have come up with to date because of the uh, obviously the latest specs and the IPS screen which um, you should really appreciate alrighty guys that's that's it for this video thanks yeah